What up guys? It is day, I can't even think how many days it's been of quarantining. I've been staying inside. Today I have to go to the grocery store. I haven't worn this yet, but I have a mask and it has like a filter in the inside of it. So I'm gonna wear this to the store and I'm gonna be one of those people. <laughs> I feel like I look like a bird or something. It has little holes in it to breathe. I'm gonna wear this. I don't really like wearing it. It feels weird, but I'm gonna do it just cause like things are getting real crazy lately. <laughs> it's a ghost town. There's not that many. There's some people outside, but not a lot. I'll show you. And I also have gloves. I don't have like the surgical gloves, but I'm wearing gloves in the grocery store cause I'm not gonna touch that nasty cart. This is weird because I know I'm supposed to buy food, but I don't even know what to get. Like I'm just not in the mood. I don't want anything. And I usually don't have a lot of food at my house. Guys, this is so cool. So I thought that they didn't have any wipes or anything for the carts when I got there. I thought it was really nasty, but this whole system cleans the carts for you. Look. Oh my God, this is so cool. She like ties up the, the whole cart and they dip it. Wow, I've never seen anything like this ever. And then he dries it off. Wow. That is so cool. So it's the washing station, the rinsing, and then the sanitizing. Look. I'm actually really happy that they're doing that because I thought it was gross when I got in there. I was like, ew, it's so nasty in here. Got mask buddies. Hey. I was trying to think like if someone knows I'm being nice and smiling. Like you, you can't, I'm smiling right now, but you can't really tell. I smiled at someone and said hi but they didn't know. Call me crazy, I don't care. They said to do this and that's why I did it. They said when you get home from the grocery store to wipe off your stuff with Lysol wipes or Clorox wipes, whatever you have. So that's what I've been doing and I know it's weird, but at least my surfaces are clean. I did not buy very healthy food. I bought a couple healthy things, but not much because if I die, I wanna enjoy what I'm eating. This stuff is usually not this kind of food that I eat ever. I try to eat healthier at home, but I usually just get takeout to be honest with you. This is the most important grocery, bamboo. <laughs> and he is priceless, right? I decided to make dinner. I have not made dinner in a really long time and I'm going to have lots of food. <laughs> Here it is. I'm making like a pasta dish with ground beef and a homemade sauce. And I used to make this like years ago and I really loved it. And everybody who's ever had it told me they really liked it. So I'm kind of like making the sauce right now. I have to put seasonings in it and make it with a special touch. It's kind of like a Spanish flavor dish in a sense, but it's really good. This is before I season my sauce. My sauce is done. I might put a couple of finishing touches on it once I add the pasta to it. No, Nyla. <laughs> this isn't for you. It's done! Mmm. Very good. This is how I'm quarantining. I'm making pasta, because I love pasta. So, what have you guys been doing to quarantine or self-distance yourselves from others? I think it would be a great idea if you guys all comment below and let me know because we can share ideas and maybe it'll give other people ideas of stuff that they can do at home to be productive, keep busy, and just have things to do. I saw online a lot of people are doing big, huge group chats. And I think that that's really cool because it's a way to connect with people and be social, but you're at your house still. I haven't done that myself yet. I just would like FaceTime some friends. There was one thing that I was gonna do and I changed my mind because I wasn't able to get an appointment early on. About a week ago, about a week ago, I was trying to make an appointment at the Red Cross because I heard on the news that they are at a really severe blood shortage. Even folks who normally would give blood at their university, at their place of work, who would say, well, I'm a little worried about going in. Am I going to be safe? I wanted to donate blood, but it was really hard to make an appointment for some reason. Like I was trying to do it online. For whatever reason, it didn't work out. And I just feel like at this point for myself, I probably shouldn't do that anymore just cause like so much time has gone by and I don't want to put myself at risk. That was just like something I was going to do to help out. Ah, oh, bamboo. Bamboo. 
You're ruining the video. He's on my desk. Hi. Hi, babe. Get butt out of the camera. Speaking of bamboo, I'm wearing his shirt right now. <laughs> Did you notice that, boo-boo? Stretchy pants. Um, oh. Speaking of merch, this week's merch feature is Lucian, and he ordered his merch and it was shipped all the way to New Zealand. So thank you and thank you for being patient because that was a long way to get there. If you guys want to be featured in the vlog, make sure you tag me on Instagram so that I can see the photo of you guys wearing the merch or receiving the merch. I hope that you guys are doing well, staying safe, washing your hands, and I will see you in the next vlog. By the way, all of that stuff that we talked about that I wanted to do in Philly, like the tourist stuff, I can't do that right now, obviously, because everything's shut, but as soon as things reopen, I would like to do that, and yes, that will be part of the vlogs in the near future. See you guys soon, love you, peace. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys.